Next to your knowledge and skills with Vegas Pro, nothing offers you more productivity gains than the unique scripting and extension functionality that we've built into the application. These features enable you to automate your editing process and can save you huge amounts of time on your projects. And productivity gains are what the Vegas Pro Production Assistant plugin is all about. In this video, we'll take a look at the plugin and how you can use it to automate and streamline your editing process. The Production Assistant plugin works as an extension to Vegas Pro and you can call it open without leaving your video editing project. We'll talk about how to do that in a moment, but first let's talk about how you can take advantage of Production Assistant before you ever even start your Vegas Pro project. The Production Assistant plugin can quickly populate a Vegas Pro template project with media that's specific to the job you're working on. To see this, exit Vegas Pro if you have it open now. Next, start Production Assistant. This opens a fairly simple dialog box. This box helps you get a big jump on projects you produce regularly that follow a formulated editing construction. For instance, say you produce a weekly video presentation for a client. The presentation formula is consistent from week to week in that it starts with a text introduction, contains two video clips, and finishes with a credit roll. Production Assistant enables you to choose a Vegas Pro project that you've set up as a template which meets your criteria and replace the blank media slugs in that template project with the media that you want to use in this edit. You can create the exact Vegas Pro project to use as a template that you need or you can use one of the ones that Production Assistant offers. A template project is really nothing more than a veg file that has blank events where you want the media to go. In the case of my example, we'll use one of the supplied templates. Choose Two Media Project from the Template drop-down list. Give the project a name and specify the folder that you want to save the project to. Now you need to specify the media that you want to use in the new project. Click the Add button. In the Source Files dialog box, select the appropriate file type from the File Type drop-down list. Navigate to the folder that contains the files you want to use in your project, select them from the list, and click Open. The media files you choose now appear in the media list, but they might not appear in the order that you want them in your final project. For instance, say that you want the file currently listed second to appear first in your project. Click the second file in the list to select it, and click the Moves Selected Items Up in the List button. Click the Moves the Selected Items Down in the List button to move it back to the second position. Choose your version of Vegas Pro from the Vegas Version drop-down list and click OK. Production Assistant starts Vegas Pro, creates your new project, replaces the blank events in the template timeline with the media files you specified, and saves the project with the name you specified. A dialog box informs you that your files have been replaced. Click OK and you're ready to work with your project further. For instance, you'll want to replace the text slug at the beginning and the text in the credit roll at the end. You might also need to do a little editing on the media events since the media that you used very likely doesn't match the blank events from the template exactly. For instance, you can see that the first of the two media files I used did not fill the entire blank event that was in my template project. Thus, my project now has a gap between the first and second media events. Less obviously, the second of the two media events is longer than the template blank event. So I need to do a little editing to fix things up. With the second event, just use trimming techniques that you already know to make the event long enough to hold the entire media file, or as much of it as you want to use. Use ripple edit techniques to reposition the credit roll event accordingly. In other words, just edit your project as normal now. Or, even better yet, now that you are inside your Vegas Pro project, you can use the Production Assistant plugin to automate some of the repetitive tasks that you might run into. The plugin runs as an extension inside Vegas Pro, so choose View, Extensions, Production Assistant 1.0, Production Assistant to open it in its own dockable window. Position it so that you can see it and the events on your timeline simultaneously. The Production Assistant window offers many helpful tools. I won't talk about all of them in detail here, but let's take a look at some of them so that you get a sense for what you can do. You can use the various buttons across the top of the window to quickly run automated operations. Let's skip the Process button for now and talk about a couple of the others. Notice that the audio events in my project contain stereo files as shown by the dual waveforms. Many times you want to break these stereo events into separate mono events 
that hold only one channel of the audio so that you can edit the left channel of the audio independently from the right. With the Production Assistant plugin, you can easily split them out quickly. To do so, first select the track that holds the events that you want to split out. Then, in the Production Assistant window, click the Channel Split button. You now have two audio tracks, and the events on those tracks hold only mono signals. The Production Assistant plugin made that seem very painless. Just two mouse clicks, and you're done. Behind the scenes, though, you've just saved yourself a ton of work. In fact, by my count, you need at least 18 mouse clicks to accomplish the exact same task manually. That's the power of the Production Assistant plugin. And that's only one aspect of it. Let's look at another example. Say you get to a point in your editing where you notice that you have lots of gaps between events on your timeline. You might need to close all of these gaps before you deliver your project. If you have hundreds of events and gaps, you could have a tedious and repetitive job on your hands. And that means wasted time when you could be working on another project. Again, the Production Assistant plugin makes very quick work of this. First, let's set up the problem. Move events in your Vegas Pro timeline so that no event touches another. In other words, create gaps between every event on each track of your timeline. It'll take you longer to create the problem than it will for the plugin to fix it. First, hold the Control key and select each track in your project that has gaps between events. Click the Remove Track Gaps button in the Production Assistant window. Immediately, the plugin moves your events so that they snap to one another and no gaps remain. Experiment with the other buttons here and see what they do. You'll find that some of them give you a great deal of control over the process they initiate. For instance, click the Lower Thirds Tool button. This brings up a dialog box that gives you the opportunity to choose from a long list of lower third graphic treatments and many parameters related to them. A snapshot of your project timeline with the selected lower third laid over it shows you what the graphic you choose looks like. Choose a different graphic from the lower third selection drop-down list. Notice all of the parameters here. You can change the length of the lower third. You can also dictate how you want the graphic to enter and exit your project, what track you want to add the graphic to, and more. When you've made all of your decisions, click OK, and the Production Assistant plugin generates your lower third and adds it to your project according to the parameters you set. All of these options can save you a ton of time, but that's not all there is to the Production Assistant plugin. You can also use the plugin as a very powerful batch processing tool. For instance, say you have a large number of media files that all need the same treatment. Rather than opening each file in the Vegas Pro timeline and adding the treatment one by one, you can load them each into the Production Assistant Media Files list and set up a batch process. Three tabs in the window work together to give you the tools you need for running a batch like this. First, use the Source Media tab to specify the files you want to process. You can process files that you are currently using in your Vegas Pro project. To do so, select the Use Current Project as Source checkbox. But you can also process files that you don't even have open in your project yet. To do this, deselect the Use Current Project as Source checkbox and then click the Add button. In the Source Files dialog box, navigate to the files you want to process. Don't forget to select the type of files you're looking for from the File Type drop-down list. Select all of the files you want to process and click Open. The media files now appear in the Production Assistant Media Files list and you can rearrange their order just as you did earlier. Next, you need to specify the processing that you want to do to these files. If you don't want any particular processing done to your files, just skip this step. If you do want to add processing, click the Processing tab. Click the Add button. Then, select the process you want from the Select a Process to Add list in the Add Process dialog box. For instance, select CineLook from the list and click OK. In the CineLook dialog box, select the treatment you want from the Select a Preset from the List to Apply drop-down list. The thumbnail to the left shows you a split screen before and after so you can see how your video will be affected. Click OK. If you want to add another process, click the Add button again. When you're done adding your processes, click the Target Output tab. In the Output Location section, you'll specify where you want to save the file you're about to create. In the Output Format section, you'll create a list of file types that you want to create. You can choose one of the options from the preset list or create a custom list of your own. To create a custom list, 
click the Edit List button. In the Render Formats dialog box, select the first format that you want from the File Type drop-down list. Then click the Add button to add that format to your list. Add all of the formats you want to create. If you need to remove a format from the list, select it in the list and click Remove. When you're done compiling your list, click OK. Now that you're done making your decisions, click the Process button. If you have a project open that hadn't been saved before you started this process, Vegas Pro asks if you want to save it. This is because the Production Assistant plugin needs to start a new project before it can run the batch. Decide whether or not you need to save the project and click the appropriate button. Since the plugin is opening a new project, the New Project dialog box opens so that you can specify the properties of the new project. Once you've done so, click OK. Select a track from the track selection list and click OK. The Production Assistant plugin opens each file into the timeline, performs any processing that you specified, and saves the processed file to a new file in whatever location and formats you specified. There's much more to the Production Assistant plugin than I've covered here, but hopefully I've given you a taste of this tool's power and how it can help you streamline your workflow. You can find more details on the Production Assistant plugin, including detailed tutorial videos on each of its functions, at www.sonycreativesoftware.com slash Vegas Pro Assist. For more training resources for Vegas Pro and our other software products, visit our training page at www.sonycreativesoftware.com slash training.